All right, a lot of you have been asking, so let's get to it. What am I gonna do about the Xbox One X? Well, there's a straw poll, so if you just wanna vote real quick and let me know what you think I should do, go ahead. If you want more details, keep listening. The Xbox One X might be the first console to consistently deliver 4K gaming. It's pretty small, it's $500, and it comes out in less than a month. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty impressive. Now, of course, we need to see how it actually performs in games, but at least on the surface, this looks to be a really capable gaming machine. So, can I build a $500 PC that competes against it? Well, I don't know. I'm pretty confident I can't build a machine out of all brand new parts that will compete, at least not without some really lucky sales. There are plenty of great competitive parts I can buy, but the new GPU market is still in an artificial pricing bubble because of digital currency mining. The bubble is the worst right around the price range where I'd be buying a GPU for the theoretical Potato Masher X. Now, that's not really a problem in the real world where you can just buy last year's GPU used for a great price, but in the land of technical comparisons, it's a little harder to figure out. Also, money is a real concern. I'm not gonna tell you a sob story about me barely scraping by or anything because that's not the case. This YouTube channel is a fun hobby, but it's never been any real source of income. It pays for games and stuff I use for the channel, but that's about it. But I do want the channel to pay for itself. It wouldn't be a smart financial move to use personal money to invest that heavily in a hobby that isn't likely to ever turn into something full time. I'm not complaining, but buying an Xbox One X and building a new $500 PC would be $1,000 for a series that probably isn't ever going to make it back. The YouTube ad issues are real, and I appreciate everyone who supports me on Patreon too, but that only means I about break even. I took all the money from the Potato Masher Pro videos over the past year and used it to buy a Vive for the VR comparison. I'm totally willing to sell that to help fund future projects for the channel because the VR content I did didn't appear to be that interesting to you guys, so I probably won't make more. Between money I can get from that and the small amount I make from YouTube ads and Patreon, we do have a few options. I want to make content that's educational, thought-provoking, or at the very least, entertaining. Preferably, I don't want to go in the hole to do it, so what are the choices? One. I compare the Potato Masher Pro to the Xbox One X. The RAM, CPU, etc. are all still pretty comparable. The One X obviously has a lot more storage space, but for the sake of comparisons, that never matters. If someone did a new build, they'd want a terabyte, of course. The GTX 1060 in the Potato Masher Pro is likely going to be at least a little bit slower than the Xbox One X, but I'm always down for an underdog fight. Option 2. I do a new build for the Xbox One X. There still isn't an affordable 4K 60fps recording solution that will do what I need, so I'd be stuck at 1080p recordings at least until Elgato releases their 4K recorder. I also think the new build would be slower because of the GPU pricing bubble. I have an idea of how I could keep this interesting, but I'd rather keep that idea for the PS5 if the series is still going and you guys enjoy watching it. Option 3. I do a used build for the Xbox One X. Throw out all the rules, just take $500 and see if I can beat the Xbox One X into the ground. It wouldn't be small, pretty, or new, but it would have the horsepower. Option four, I don't do a series. I know that's not the most interesting option, but I'm serious. I already have two machines to compare, and the job I started this year takes a lot more out of me than what I did for work during the first few years of the series. I'm not happy with the amount of videos I've been able to put out this year. I'd like to do more, and I'm working on some things that should let me gradually increase the production speed on videos, but adding another series probably won't help. If you guys want me to just focus on the Masher and Masher Pro, I'm totally fine with that. So, there's a straw poll and I want your votes. I also welcome any comments if you want to talk about it more. I have a limited amount of time and money and I want to use it in the smartest way possible. On that note, I'm considering changing up my Patreon options somewhat to maybe go to a monthly support model. I appreciate everyone who's watched the Potato Masher series over the years. There have been over 100 videos and I want to make many more as long as you still want to watch them. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.